All right, so we're gonna start at the highest level view of Airtable, and we're gonna work our way down into the little nitty gritty parts, and this is gonna give you the full introduction to Airtable, how to use it very efficiently, effectively, and to the best of its capabilities. So if you wanna think about Airtable, you can think of like the core product very similar to Microsoft Access. It provides some more benefits to you. For example, it's a relational database, so you can display information very effectively and efficiently. And then even more so, it's a cloud-based software. So you can use it with your team at the same time of them. You can share it with people. You can share it with people outside of your team at other organizations, and it's really great for that. In addition to that, it, with it being online, you can use functions like the API, you can have data automatically come into Airtable, automatically export data out of Airtable, and you can do a lot with like Zapier and Integromat integrations, as well as some other tools like mini extensions and OpenSide onto Air Solutions. Quick plug there. But in this video, I really wanted to just give a little bit of that introduction as well as start at the highest level view of Airtable. So as you can see up here on my screen, you can see my workspace is open. And on the left, you can see all of my workspaces in this Airtable account. And the one that we'll be going through is this digital marketing accelerator just to start off. But we're actually going to go and create a new workspace. And I'm going to walk you through all of the steps to create a workspace or maybe you already shared in one, but I'm gonna explain how all of this works in this video. After you create your Airtable account, you'll come to something that looks similar to this. And this is a workspace with a bunch of preloaded bases in it. And what a workspace is, is just this encapsulating thing right here with all of these different cards in it. These all have like different logos on them. Like you can customize this, so I can customize the color. And each of these is a different base. So like here's a content calendar, here's a project tracker, here's product planning, here's an employee directory. So these are all different bases within our workspace. Now the company that you're working for or for maybe some of your clients, what they might see is they might see just a few of these because Airtable gives you the benefit of just sharing at the base level. So you might only be seeing like something that says bases shared with me and that might be right here instead. So if I pull that down, I can show you that. So like bases shared with me, one from OpenSiders, and you might see something like that instead. So we're just gonna start from scratch here. I do wanna give you a little bit of an intro because there's a lot of great Airtable templates out there. You most likely to be very efficient in your processes, you want a custom solution, but Airtable does give you the benefit of starting with a template and they have a lot of templates in the Airtable templates as well as Airtable universe that you can pick from. So you can click on any of these and if I just like come here and I click use this template, then it'll add that template to the workspace and that's great, but I didn't need that. So I'm just gonna quickly delete that. So this is what you'll see. These are all the different bases and what we wanna do is we want, I'm just gonna show you how to create a workspace first. It's likely when you created your Airtable account, you're automatically gonna get this in here. But if I just come in here and I click add a workspace, you're gonna be able to do this too. You, you can create, create as many free workspaces as you want for free. If you want to move on to that paid version, the paid version, just keep in mind, it's per user per workspace. So I know that you might need to think about that. It took me a while to understand the pricing, but it's per user per workspace. So you can have as many free ones as you want, but if you wanna be in two paid workspaces, it's gonna cost you two users per month on whatever plan. So if I come down here and I click add a workspace right here, I can click create workspace and we'll just say this is going to be OpenSiders introduction course. So now we have this workspace created and the first thing we want to get started with is creating a base. So to add the base, like I showed you a little bit ago, you can just click add a base. You can start with the template, import data. So you can import stuff like a CSV, a Google Sheet, Excel, and they actually give you a ton of great options if you click into this. So like I'm on a Mac, so maybe I want to import some Apple numbers files. 
as well as you can also import Asana. I haven't done Asana or Trello, but I'm sure this can work great for you in whatever, whatever capacity you want to be importing into Airtable, you can do that. For us, what we need to do is just start from scratch. So that's the most basic view. That's all this video is gonna be about is just the different workspaces you're in. There's another course that goes through account management, which we'll talk more about like all the pricing and all of that. Um, you can reach out to Dan if you're interested in that, or it should be on like the gallery view of all the courses. But that's the introduction to the workspaces. It's really the the house for all of your apps. You can have all of your apps as these different cards in here. This is like you can share your different workspaces, and this is just the gallery view of all of your different workspaces with all of your different bases. Another way that you can look at this is if you look in like the list view. I don't like it as much. I like those cards like the way they were, but that's another way you can customize this. So now in the next video, we're going to go into the base level. We're going to get that base level description for you guys so you can understand what exactly a base is. And then we'll keep going down and down further and further. So see you in the next one.